Hi everyone, how are you doing? I am Zen and work for Plant Rental Services in Japan. Today, I can show you the way of revival of fixed umbilato with damaged leaves during cold seasons. The revival is my own world and it means to support plants to come out new and fresh leaves after dropping off old and damaged ones. Here you can see an umbilata that we will talk about today. By the way, umbilata is a very popular houseplant in Japan. Umbilata has fabulous leaves which are seen in the shape is like the heart. And the plant grows in warm and humid rooms but is not tolerant against coldness. But I think that umbilata is really gorgeous and it would be nice to place that plant, for example, in living room, and I strongly recommend you putting this plant in your list for the purchase. Now it gets warm in February in Kumamoto Prefecture in Japan, which I live. The revival method can be considered by whom can reserve a warm place during cold periods. Otherwise, you can follow this method once it gets warm. Apart from today's topic, I would share another video how to revive houseplants in hot seasons. Generally speaking, it's recommended to revive plants during warm periods when they can grow up. Your respective the revival method can be deployed if you own a greenhouse managing stable temperature. Having that said, the revival could be conducted provided the room temperature above 20 Celsius degree. Nevertheless, you could decide on whether the plant revival could be suitable depending on the current circumstance in your region. Please be careful for applying the revival method for small umbilata, which is too fragile to get the revival stress susceptible. We don't deploy it for house plants with beautiful leaves, since this revival process can be considered only when the status of leaves are not optimal. We wouldn't do the treatment if roots are not sufficiently developed, for example, just after repotting your plant. Here you can find three pots of umbirata and I'm asking whether your umbirata looks like that is worse. Leaves are broken, wrinkled or in yellow, which is not in a good shape since the plants become dried due to less water. Perhaps many people keep this unsuitable condition without taking any improvement measures. This seems to be good at a glance, but it is not healthy since leaves are wrinkled and spotted. Such leaves cannot be recovered to shiny and healthy anymore. We can frequently see spider mites in the backside of such wrinkled leaves. Leaves in this part look moisture while that part is unrecoverable. Health status of the leaves can be different even come from one stem and such heterogenic conditions already tell difficulties with keeping a good condition. And we expect the plant status getting worse and worse. Fertilizing would be good for new leaves, however, wouldn't recover previously damaged leaves. Therefore, I would recommend rather making a revival treatment without taking other methods. Only what we can do is dropping off the damaged leaves. If we do it with fixed plants, 
three sub will be come out of the cat, while Umberate has less amount of the tree sap compared to other rubber trees. Contacting with such sap by hands causes rushes. Please wear gloves. Cutting leaves from the bottom, not from the top, would make your hands less contacted with tree sap. We should keep one health leaf per branch after the revival treatment, not to make it withered. New rubs would be taken away. Please have damaged leaves simply cut off without any salt. If you have greenhouse, you can cut off the top to change the height of your umbrella. However, the tree can get weak and be withered when the treatment is made in cold seasons, which plants will not be grown up. If new rubs become larger, you can drop off the health leaf which we left during the revival treatment period. We might not keep the health leaf at the plant's growth phase. People were greatly amazed at the revival method when I uploaded the video in Japan, and I received a plenty of comments. I also got many messages that deploying the revival treatment was successful. As long as your plants being at a suitable place, the revival is a straightforward way to make Umbilatus leaves beautiful. As you can see, all the leaves were lost for the three pots of Umberata. I suppose that new rubs will be come out after one month in my greenhouse with heating system. The plants shouldn't be withered since these new rubs are kept after the treatment. I would strongly recommend to try the revival method only when we can keep warm temperature so that the plants can be at the growing phase. The method is deployed, for example, at rooms with heating for 24 hours. We will make your plants dried after watering upon the revival treatment and as a consequence the plant become eager to survive under the condition. Many new rubs will be come out to survive since the plant lost almost all the leaves with the lack of water. Please provide sufficient water once new rubs are appeared. Fertilizers can be given when new leaves are come out and then your umbilata finally gets revived. With the revival measure, plants will be recovered better compared to the previous unhealthy conditions at a success rate of 80 to 90 percent, not 100 percent though. Please feel free to try the method once you have appropriate facility in the season. As already mentioned, please do not have the leaves cut off unless your plants could be grown up in your place. This umbilata gets taller and the whole shape looks unbalanced, therefore we can cut the stem at the height level which you feel comfortable. When you make the plant low, leaves tend to come out at the bottom. 
New rubs are grown up only at the top if umbilata is just long and narrow. The plant cut this time will be used for propagation by maintaining in another pot. This will be shared in an upcoming video. Now we are in my greenhouse. So far, I have 10 pots of umbilata revived this season. Just for your information, Pakira can also be revived in the same way as Umbelata. When we put the plants in such a moisture greenhouse, new fabulous leaves will become out in one month. Today the plants were less watered and afterwards will be maintained under a dried condition. It's a key point for plants to force to survive at less watered places you can still water less after new laps are just come out, since numbers of the leaves are still less. Today's topic was how to revive umbelata with damaged leaves during cold time. If you show any interest, please subscribe to my channel. Also, don't forget to like the video. Then, let's have a fun of the life with indoor plants together. Thanks a lot for watching. Bye bye.